So PFSense has just released a package for TailScale. TailScale, for those who, who don't know, is a custom peer-to-peer -peer VPN technology, sort of like Zero Tier that uses uh, Wireshark. So let's get started. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure TailScale on your PFSense. So let's open a browser and go to TailScale. And you'll have to create an account. I already have an account created. Uh, I used my Google account to sign in. So you can go to tailscale.com, hit login. And I'm currently already logged in. But if I log out, this is what you're going to see. So sign in with Google, select your Google account, and you're logged in. The first thing we want to do is go to settings, click on keys, authorization keys, generate auth keys, click on reusable, click generate key. It's going to generate this key. We're going to copy that, click open notepad, and paste it there. Uh, this is the key we're going to use to set up our PFSense to connect to TailScale. Next, you want to log into your PFSense. Once you're logged in, uh, go to System, Package Manager, click on Available Packages. We want to install TailSkill here. And once the install is completed, we're going to click on VPN, TailSkill, and we're going to see it over here. Let's go to the first tab, authentication. We're going to leave the login server to controlplane.tailscale.com. Pre-authentication key will be the key that we generated. Uh, I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to save that. Go to the settings tab, enable. Listen port, leave it default. Keep configuration, I'll leave that enabled. Uh, now, this is something that depends uh, if you want to use your PFSense as an exit node uh, and if you want to accept routes uh, for any other devices, any other router that's connected on a different location to TailScale, um, you can accept the routes that it's offering so that, it, that your PFSense can connect to the networks within that router. Um, so I'm going to just click oh, check mark yes on both of them. Advertise routes. Uh, now these are the routes that our PFSense will advertise. So any device that is currently connected to any device you connect to your TailScale network, like your cell phone, your Android, your MacBook, once it connects to TailScale, it will have an option to connect to the internal network within your PFSense. And you specify those network over here. I have a couple of networks. I'm going to allow my server network to be accessible, which is 10.37.0.0 slash 20. And I'm just going to call it server VLAN and leave it as is. I'll enable syslog output. I'm going to set it to debug uh, just so that I can see logs under my syslog, uh, detailed logs under my syslogs. I'm going to click on save. And as you can see, TailScale is online. All the setup is completed on the PFSense side. It is online. Now let's do a quick test. So now I'm on my phone. I've downloaded TailScale app from the App Store. I'm going to open that. Click Get Started. And I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Once I'm signed in, my device will automatically get connected to the TailScale network, and I should be able to see it from the TailScale uh, admin center. So now I'm on the admin center on the TailScale, and we can see our device uh, Note 8 was added, and our PFSense already added and connected. So I'm gonna go into edit route settings, and You'll have to check mark this. These are the routes that we had added on our PFSense to advertise. Uh, we need to enable this here uh, for any other device like Galaxy Note 8 to be able to communicate with it. Uh, you also have an option to allow it as exit node uh, so that this device connected here can route all its traffic through your PFSense. 
Um, it really depends on your situation, uh, but I'm going to turn that off for now because I want all traffic to go through whatever internet connection my Galaxy Note 8 has. So just make sure to enable this. And we're going to go back on our phone and do a quick uh, ping test. So I'm back on my phone now. And I'm going to do a quick ping test after the settings that we applied. And as you can see, I'm able to ping no problem. We're going to do the same thing on the PFSense side now. Let's check it out. So now I am on my PFSense. And I'm going to try to ping my cell phone connected to the Tailscale network. So IP is 100.87.39.25. Run ping. And as you can see, we're getting the response. So that should be it. Thank you for watching.